hey what's up youtube david here today i will be showing you guys how, two ways to um make a backup of a umd disc for this example i'll be using invisimals you first of all make sure you have a drive that works so yeah um first way you can make a backup which is put the disc in make sure that it is um legible for your PSP like that and what you can do is um basically as far as I know all custom firmwares have this in their VSH menu just um except for the PSP 3000 firmwares I believe I don't know I could be wrong but um if I am correct me in the comments but um you press select and um right where it says USB device switch it until it says UMD disk then just exit out and you can connect your PSP into USB mode and I will see you at the computer okay so when you connect your PSP into USB mode like this um you'll get something like this and it actually says the game disk ID you press open folder to view files if it doesn't come up automatically you can always go to a computer and open it up manually and um you'll get these um, the ISO file what you would normally do is just drag it out onto your desktop or whatever and it will start copying and once it copies over you can rename it the ISO and that is how you make an ISO that's how you make a UMD rip of um of a UMD and now the second method I'm going to show you is requires a download and it's actually homebrew on your PSP um you'll go to the site right here phonicuk.com I actually think this is the best, um, the best UMD dumper out there. Works on the 1000s and 2000s. Not sure about 3000s. Obviously, don't work on the go because no UMDs. When it, when you get here, press download. And they have in all these different languages. And um, yeah. So just download whatever language you want. Of course, I want the English version. Um, you will wait for this download to finish. It will be take a little bit because these download servers are not the best. So, but it's only five megabytes, so it's not really much to worry about. When it open, when it downloads, um, open up the file, and here you have UM Dumper. Okay. Okay, and um. And once you open that up, make sure you change your PSP's USB mode back to um, memory stick, okay? Um, because I had to right now. You're going to press open folder to view files. Go into PSP. Go into game. And you're going to drag um, the folder called UM Dumper onto here. And, um, let me show you something real quick. There's background music. If you want to change the music, um, delete this file and get whatever song you want and just name it music. Make sure it's MP3 format. And that's how you can change the song. You can read the license and the readme if you want. And, um, I'm going to put it in my category homebrew, but you just drag it into your game folder. All right, now let's head back to the PSP. Okay, once you're back at your PSP, disconnect the USB cable and exit out of USB mode. Okay, now um, when you go here and you open up your memory stick, you should see this icon, UM Dumper by Phonic UK. Just go ahead and make sure your UMD's in here and um, just start it up. It's reading the disk right now and as you see it has recognized it you can read the readme file here um you can rename the target file now if when you do this 
Um, you know, you can just name it to whatever. You can name it Invisimals. This is a background music that you can change. Alright, and as you see here, it's going to save to your ISO folder. So you don't have to reconnect it to your computer. Now here, you can um, change from ISO mode. So you want it to be ISO. You want it to be a compressed, you know, a CSO mode 1, which is less compression. CSO mode 2, more. And so on, all the way to CSO mode 9. Which I kind of made a tutorial on how to downgrade these. And on here... The higher compressed that your that your game is, the longer it'll take to rip. So I'll just go with ISO mode, and it says right there how much memory it'll take up. And right here, you're gonna want to overclock it to 333 megahertz. That's this way it'll finish fastest. And um, if you want to stop the music because it gets annoying, press square. Now you when you're done with this, you can go ahead and press. start dumping and as you see there it's a percentage bar this will take a while It'll take around 50 minutes 40 minutes depending on ISO size it's not even 1% yet right. and you, if you really want to right here you can play the mini game by pressing select and um let's see start This is, if you have nothing better to do, then wait for your ISO to finish. Okay, that, well, that's enough of that. Alright, well, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next.